Pi notes. What are pi notes? The node role is the fourth role and the last role, available in Pi Network's platform that exists as one of their four ways to identify their classification of a Pi miner. A node will be possible to create if the Pi user holds the Pioneer role and the Contributor role. Plus, that Pioneer will need to also be able to run the Pi node software on their desktop or laptop computer. Pi Network doesn't require a high-end computer to host a node as a Pioneer because it doesn't use the concept of proof of work. It uses the Stellar Consensus Protocol and the Federated Byzantine Agreement for its blockchain technology. A basic laptop or computer desktop within the last five years can handle the requirements necessary to host a Pi node. Pi node software will run the Stellar Consensus Protocol algorithm and Federated Byzantine Agreement, and it will take into account the trust graph information that is provided by contributors. A trust graph is exactly what it sounds like, a map of trust on the network. One person's security circle is small, but when you pull all those security circles together and they are linked, that is what builds out the global trust graph to determine who can be trusted on Pi Network. It will also allow the facilitation of transactions to occur between two strangers who have never met. As with any new feature, it must likely require beta testers to ensure the Pi nodes are working as intended, as they will hold the distributed ledger which will account for all the record of transactions on Pi Network's blockchain. At this time, the ledger of each Pi user who has KYC is being accounted for on their servers in their database on Pi Network's app. However, this is centralized and the Pi nodes will allow us to transition the network to be decentralized through the Pi nodes. The software program will be open sourced software. What this means is anyone in the community will be able to read, comment, and propose suggestions that can improve the system. So if you are a developer, this is something that you would be interested in. A node that's connected properly is referred to as an intact node. The main Pi network is defined as incorporating all intact nodes within Pi network. The main task for each node is for it to be configured so that it connects correctly to the main Pi network. In order for a node to be correctly connected, the pioneer must choose a quorum slice so that all resulting quorums that include your node intersect with the existing network's quorums. The main thing that's different about Pi Network in regard to it using the Stellar Consensus Protocol is the fact that it will be integrating its concept of trust graphs that are provided by Pi contributors as the information that will be used by the Pi nodes when they are setting up their configurations to connect to the main Pi network. When a Pi user is selecting their quorum slices, these nodes must take into consideration the trust graph that's available by the contributors including their own security circle. This is why when the, you set up your own security circle, many people had instructed you to only select people that you trust and know. In order to assist in this important decision for Pi users, Pi Network will release an auxiliary graph analysis software program to assist Pi users running nodes so that they can make informed decisions. This software will provide daily information, which includes a page rank list. This has been analyzed and will be nodes that are in the trust graph. They will be ordered based on their proximity from the current node in the trust graph. There will also be a list of nodes that are reported by the community as faulty. We'll also have a list of new nodes seeking to join the network that are available as people create them. A list of recent articles on nodes that are misbehaving as well as a visual representation of nodes that are making up the Pi network. We'll have a quorum explorer which will help further explain in detail how Pi network's quorums are built, how validators are established, so on and so forth. Basically the trust that's established initially is then carefully and meticulously established thereafter to future quorums as well as quorum slices. Lastly, a simulation tool that monitors quorums. 
it will be able to show the expected results of impact to the node's connectivity to the Pi network when the current node's configuration changes, which it will, as the network will ask you to optimize your configuration daily. Pi Network is working on a way to automate the feature of optimally integrating it into Pi Network configurations. On the first deployment of the Pi Network, users who are running nodes, they can update their node configuration at any time. They will be prompted to confirm their configurations daily, even if they didn't update them. When a pioneer needs to confirm that a given transaction has been executed, such as that person receiving Pi from another Pi user, they will open up their mobile app. At this point, their mobile app will connect to one or more nodes nearby to inquire if the transaction has been recorded on the ledger and also to get the most recent block number as well as hash value of that block. That is what will occur if the Pi user has not created a Pi node. If the Pioneer is also running their node, their Pi Network app will connect to their Pi node. Pioneers will have the ability to select which nodes they want their Pi Network app to connect to. However, to simplify this process, the app will have a certain amount of nodes by default which are within close proximity based on the trust graph as well as random selection of nodes high in the page rank like Wi-Fi to choose from. The Stellar Consensus Protocol coordinates the consensus across a distributed system of nodes. Basically, there will be plenty of nodes created all around the world and possibly several within your own city. Intact nodes will populate in the page rank and based on their trust graph, those more trusted will appear at the top. However, these are within a specific proximity from your current location. The same Stellar Consensus Protocol algorithm that Pi Network will be using will not only be able to record new transactions taking place in new blocks every few seconds, but they can also be used to periodically run more complex computations. An example of such an application would be to compute the network's new Pi distribution of Pi across all its miners who actively participated in any given day. Basically, Pi mining rewards will be computed once a day, and not for each block of the blockchain like traditional cryptocurrencies before Pi. Pi nodes will help bridge the gap between Pi network being centralized to allow Pi to transition to become a decentralized cryptocurrency. This is why we have the three phases to progress to become fully decentralized. Pi Network's blockchain technology will be integrated and exist as Pi nodes exist. This is phase two of Pi Network, the test phase. Many pioneers may be able to have the opportunity to build a Pi node during the test phase. Each node can independently validate a transaction. The network though must come to a consensus to determine which transactions to record on a block and the order of these transactions and the blocks. The Federated Byzantine Agreement, also known as the FBA, allows there to not only be one central quorum that acts as validators in the network, it allows each node to set their own quorum slice, which forms different quorums. Then future nodes are brought into the network based on trusted nodes that validate and declare that that node can be trusted. This system doesn't require a central quorum. This is how the blockchain technology of Pi Network establishes and builds its security within its network. In summary, you must hold the pioneer role as well as the contributor role. This will allow you to build a Pi node. And Pi nodes are only one of four ways to earn more Pi. You can earn more Pi through a Pi node through transaction fees whenever the volume of transactions is a lot higher than usual. When Pi nodes launch, the Pi core team will host several nodes on the testnet during its inception. I refer to them as the genesis nodes of Pi network. In order for any Pi node to join the main net, it would have had to exist during the testnet. I would highly recommend you to consider building a Pi node 
as it becomes available to the Pi community around the world. How big is Pi Network? A lot bigger than you may realize in regard to what other people are building for it. On October 1, 2001, the 3G network was launched in Japan. The first smartphone iPhone with the technology to unlock the potential of 3G did not come into existence though until 2007. The practical applications for 3G came after, the same way the practical applications for Pi must come after its platform has been established. In the next episode, I will share with each of you more about the world we are all collectively building for Pi Network. If you'd like to learn more about Pi, stay connected as I go deeper into what Pi is, what Pi is doing, and how it can help you as well as many others. Until next time, stay mining and stay smiling. I am the Crypto Legend.